today I'm gonna show you guys exactly what you get whenever you buy these $32 tribit or tribit wireless headphones. They're Bluetooth, uh, they have some sort of uh, water resistance to them as well, uh, and they have uh, very good ratings on Amazon. I believe it's at 4.6 uh, or 4.9, uh, but that's fairly good. So I'm gonna go ahead and review these. Um, I know a lot of people spend a lot of money on headphones, uh, upwards of over $150 or to $200 to $300 for the um, over-the-ear uh, ones that cover your ears. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box here. It's a very small box. This is a 120 milliamp battery with an IPX5 waterproof rating. So IPX is basically um, a rating scale. Um, IPX5 means that it's just, uh, you know, you could, you could splash water on it, but you can't really you're not gonna go you know, swimming for long periods of time with it. Um, it has a metallic housing, superior sound. We'll, we'll test that out. Self-locking magnet, I'm not sure exactly what they mean by that. And then a microphone, which most um, headphones have. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. This is what you get, neatly packaged, uh, very small. So these, uh, these earbuds here, I guess, slip into your ear canal, and then this kind of uh, goes into the groove of one of your ear folds. I'm gonna go ahead and just show you what's inside the box here. Um, this looks like a carrying case and a charging cable. And then inside the case, I think you have something else here as well too. Okay, so some replacement parts and extra buds. Yep, so different sized, um, ear inserts and buds depending on you know what your preference is or what you, what your size is in terms of ear opening. All you have is also just a user manual. It seems like there's some plastic here on it so you can remove that. I usually leave it on um, just to kind of keep it protected. Um, and then right here does include um, a remote uh, with uh, volume settings and then I believe the center is maybe a, a pause button or maybe a multi-function button. I'm gonna go ahead and test these uh, and, and test the sound quality. I do own Powerbeats as well, um, Dr. Dre uh, and uh, several other headphones so I'm gonna tell you guys exactly if uh, these are worth it for $30, $32. Uh, these were not charged um, out of the box, so FYI, just to make sure that you, whenever you receive these, you go ahead and put them in charge. After about a 45 minute charge, I, I had a full battery and uh, I was able to perform a test on these. I was skeptical as to how snug and tight they would be inside of my ear because my ears are shaped kind of awkward and weird, so I didn't know if this would hold up. Well, but it did, um, although I do recommend that uh, this company also make adapters that go over the ear um, as opposed to inside of the ear canal uh, because I know a lot of people have um, issues with this, but today I didn't have an issue. Uh, in terms of the sound quality, these, uh, these are very small earbuds, however they do pack a nice punch. Uh, they were very clear, the sound quality is very clear. I know a lot of cheaper headphones have an issue of kind of uh, uh, projecting loud drum sounds or bass sounds and this was able to do it nicely uh, whenever you press the um, volume button all the way to the max it beeps so it lets you know that you know you've hit your your highest limit so you don't keep pressing it as most of us do whenever we're at the gym. All in all, for $32, you can't go wrong, especially if you like in-ear buds right here. I would give these a five-star uh, review, given that their price is only $32. Um, I didn't see anything wrong with these or something that uh, kind of annoyed me. Um, just the only thing is that uh, these um, would probably bother people um, just because of preference. But other than that, a great quality product. You can acquire these on Amazon. So I'll go ahead and post a link so you guys can uh, check it out, read the reviews, uh, and see if these would be good for you guys.